Peace, power, and protection. Come on in. I'm getting ready to share this link with some people in my group. Bear with me a moment. Bear with me a moment. I got to share this so they know I'm in here. Can y'all see me? Can you all see my screen now? Throw one in the chat if you can see my screen. <clears throat> I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes. How y'all been doing? Been staying dangerous? Been doing your thing. Been staying powerful. Been staying protected, man. It's getting... I'm trying to think of where I want this message to go tonight. I almost didn't come on tonight, you guys. You know, I've been really, you know, in a real ascension mode. Like, I've been in the void a lot. Oh, you just got off the road. Cool, cool. Good. You know, <clears throat> I was just thinking... You know, it's just so much going on right now, you know, with people like people making a real, I would say, choice as to which direction they get ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Like if you finna go left, if you finna go right, if you finna go up, if you finna go down, like you manifesting on yourself basically what your thoughts is you understand what i'm saying and it's like they bombarding people every day with bullshit that don't matter and it's just like free will is what's really in play right now because it's the free will that's going to take you where you need to be like some people cycle getting ready to end and that's by free will they manifested their own destiny but then you got a lot of us right now whose cycle is finna begin because a beginning is a ending for some and it's a beginning for others. And, you know, I was sitting and I was trying to think of like how I was going to put it to y'all, like how I was going to come to the tribe and talk about you know, what's been going on with me the last couple weeks. And I was just like, you know, It's unexplainable. Like, I don't know. Like, it's almost like it's two realities going on right now. You have some people who are caught up in, like, different cycles. That's what I say. It's the cycles of life right now. It's cycles going on. And you got some people that's caught up in the cycle of hate, you understand, in the cycle of killing right now, you understand, in the cycle of division. And they making a choice, so they going to go down that path, you understand what I'm saying? You got some people that's in the cycle of like uh, this election cycle where they getting ready to elect something outside of themselves to govern themselves which is the craziest thing that you could be doing right now, you know? And then you got others of us that's the made a conscious choice that we not finna participate in none of it. You understand, like, my spiritual ascension have been so crazy. I, I ain't been on social media. I don't need it. I ain't been on the news. I don't need it. I already know what's going on on the earth. I told people what was getting ready to happen right now four years ago. And that was before I even start, man, that was before the ascension even hit me. That was before I was really tapping into the void. Like, right now, the void is apparent. Like, I mean, full apparent. If you ain't been in it, it just ain't you. Like, I ain't even hear the bullshit with nobody. Like, bruh, we is separated right now. It ain't no kind of separated. It ain't no... If or it ain't no you gonna wake up, nigga, if you ain't woke, you ain't never gonna be woke. 
period, point blank. The time for waking people up, dead over. The time for teaching people, dead over. Yo, that shit, over. The information, yo, if you got a soul, you could tap your own records of Akash right now, bro, and get any fucking information you want to get. Ain't nobody got to believe me, motherfucker, because I'm finna show y'all how I'm finna be a master genius out this bitch. Watch this shit. Because it wasn't never about when you come down here as an incarnate, looking outside of yourself for somebody to guide you. That's where people done went all the way wrong. You're supposed to guide yourself. So that's why I'm like, I ain't teaching nobody shit because I'm still a student. I'm trying to learn my way to get the fuck from fuck. And you know what? I'm finna show y'all. Is somebody gonna watch? Somebody gonna bear witness? A motherfucker who was down here who was really spiritual didn't write Nan's script, motherfucker, because they was living it. That was a motherfucker who was still caught up on the Matrix that was watching them that wrote that shit down. In their interpretation of what it was. Now they got motherfuckers out here reading a manuscript like that's what the damn awakening about. No, the fuck it's not. That's somebody else's interpretation of what somebody's greatness was. How can somebody tell you what I am right now, a hundred years from now with all this shit I'm getting ready to do? They'll be saying it's miraculous and miracles and all kind of shit. No, the fuck it ain't. It's called records of Akash. It's called advanced fucking intelligence. That's what it's called. It's called I know more than motherfucking you. Because you a fool. And I am not. The key was never about no money. It won't never about no material. That's the distraction. You still a fool. A baby in the game. You still... Fucking with material, yo. You still dance. It's fuck. You still on density. If you out here right now talking about material, you it ain't you. You get ready to get swept. I ain't even worried about them people. Motherfuckers out here talking about all man. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even want to talk about them because they already left behind. If you right now on a job working nine to five, you left behind. You already left. Because anybody real serious about it, Ben, stop working for them people. You working for yourself. Crazy as fuck. It's too many real job, real shit you could be doing out here for yourself, living in your purpose that's going to get you way further than being behind a desk, being a fucking slave right now. I promise you, if you got a soul, if you ain't got a soul, that's exactly where you supposed to be. So this message ain't for nobody who, who's a fucking clone right now. I don't give a fuck. I'm on some other shit. I don't got time. Clones be damned right now. Y'all, they could all die. Shit, they holding us back. I don't give a fuck no more. Look, look, they could build some more of them motherfuckers. I really don't give a fuck, bitch. They holding us back, bro. These goddamn clones is the ones that's causing the balance on the earth to be fucked up. They all got to go. Fuck them. All of them. Let the water wash them. Take them. Earth rumble shake. What the fuck ever got to happen? Yo, this ain't my first lifetime. So it could take me to, it could take this vehicle, motherfucker. I'll just come back. I manifested something else. Ain't no such thing as death. When you get up in the void, you realize it ain't no such thing as death. And then you just like, fuck it, bitch. Some shit got to come back and got to get done. Some shit got to get washed. You see it in a whole different way than what you see it here because here it's too dense. You can't even understand the real principles of energy here because it's too dense and you can't really bring those principles back here because it's too dense a motherfucker be holding on to this what they thought too hard they can't get past it in order to get to the void that's nothing you got to become nothing and you can't become nothing holding on to a goddamn thing here because you still believe you in assimilation if you believe you in assimilation right now 
If you believe you on this bed, right? Like if you believe I'm laying here on this bed right now talking to you on this phone and you think this phone real and all this shit real, you already lost. You too dense. I done been somewhere and I know this shit ain't real. Motherfucker, fuck this shit. This shit ain't real, bitch. Let, man, fuck it. That ain't real, bro. This shit is not real. And I could say it all day. But if you in a dream and in the, in the illusion, you're going to be there. But how is it not a dream? And I done told you what was going to happen right now years ago. Man, I done. I'm somewhere else now. <clears throat> I done left motherfuckers all the way behind like this shit so trivial like even coming on here talking about it so trivial because it ain't gonna change an outcome people done already chose the wheels of motion already done been set do you enter and overstand like, motherfuckers want to be out here like anybody could just wake up. Like, anybody can just ascend. Well, no, baby, I'm sorry. No, anybody just can't. Because anybody ain't got a soul, motherfucker. If you ain't glowing right now, your eyes ain't doing shit, motherfucker. If you ain't manifesting your destiny right now, motherfucker, it wasn't never you and it ain't never going to be you. I'm sorry, but you, it ain't you. Fuck it. It's time to stop playing with people. I'm not here to play with nobody, bro. I'm not here to play with nobody. You know, you could get up here and people could lie. Like this, some shit you practice. I ain't practice shit. Because it was me, motherfucker. It always was me. And whoever else it is, it always was them. Could nobody give it to you. It was always you. It was ordained before you even got into this clone vehicle. Do you over and understand? It was ordained from the from the man, from man. It was ordained before this shit even got thought about, before this even got in motion. Do you understand? If you were first energy, the original energy. What the fuck is we talking about down here? This shit is straight bondage, servitude, slavery. Like, a motherfucker can't win down here. Why? Because it's not set. The board not ever set for you to win here. Because you you said it for you not to win here. You not supposed to want to stay here. Bro, the minute you wake up, you ready to go. Because you realize this shit not real. Then every day is like a fucking chore. A fucking chore. Not because you suicidal or no crazy shit like that. You know you can't do no shit like that. Because you still going to come back. You got to play out the energy, bruh. You got to play out, play the shit out. Once you wake up and you really, like, it ain't even wake up because waking up is death. When you wake up and you come to this reality, you really dead. So it's really the opposite. Once your consciousness crawls, let me say it like that, to what's beyond here. To what's beyond that funky ass Starlink and all of that shit that the goddamn satanic ass people want to trap your soul in. Because they can't get no fucking further old clown ass bot ass bitches. Anyway, they keep on running the same simulations and motherfuckers keep on giving their energy to these motherfuckers. I wish I would give them anything. Man, they can't get shit from me. You think I'm finna give them my will, my vote, anything, bruh, nothing. But anyway, I got distracted. Let me go back. When you go beyond. When you step outside of time. And you really in the void.
It's nothing you can't know. Do you know how powerful that is? These motherfuckers trying to simulate it with a fucking chip in their brain. Then I gave up their souls to the fucking AI. AI been exists, y'all. Listen, we our, our souls manifest here. If you want to call it in billion, man, it, it can't even be measured in, in their numerical system. That's how old you is if you want to call it an age because we existed before the earth did. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Like, I realized that the fallacy with a lot of us, once we get there, once you tap into, once you step outside of time, once you step outside of time, I think the fallacy of it with us is that when you come back here, when you wake up, you feel so miraculous like you want to try to share your experiences with others but i'm gonna tell you something it ain't you sharing it ain't gonna make them a sin nothing you do gonna make them a sin so you might as well just focus on your own program yo and that's what I'm going to do. I still care and, and care for y'all and everything. You understand? I'm going to be recording what I'm doing. Like, I'm not here to be nobody's teacher because I'm still a student. Like, when you get there in that void, you realize you don't know shit. And everything that you think is important is not. None of this shit ain't important because it's all an illusion and a fantasy. You got to realize that. First of all, ain't no such thing as death. We say that, but you really got to realize that. You really got to know that. You really got to feel that. You really got to understand that. If you understand that one principle, then you understand that for some of us, if there is no death, then that means what we do, our energy is neither created or destroyed, only transfer. Okay, let's go. So if I'm telling you, that I'm an original soul and I done been down here. What I done been doing? I done just been transferring my energy from clone to clone in my bloodline or body to body. Let me put it that way. Body to body, shell to shell. That meets a certain genetic code in my bloodline. But understand that's not me. It's just the essence. It's just the energy. I'm just animating this vessel down here to come and tell y'all a motherfucking message because i don't like to lose to these bitches because we'd have been fighting for fucking ever bitch and every time i go up there i'm like send me back down because i gotta try again because some of y'all really is my cosmic brothers and sisters i'm trying to fucking tell you that this shit ain't real. Stop hanging on to it and get your ass somewhere in a sin. Because that's the only thing that's going to get you the fuck from fuck. Nothing else ain't going to do it, bruh. If you sit and working for somebody tomorrow, you already fucking lost. You hanging on to something outside of your purpose. You need to be working for yourself and your own purpose. I'm not telling you to shut down your program. I'm telling you to start your program and end theirs. Are you in slavery or are you an individual soul? Are you an incarnate or are you giving your energy to, the, to them? To something that's false. To something that's outside of you, you got to over and understand how precious your energy is right now. How precious your will is if you really got a soul. It's a lot of clones out here. You can't be thinking about them right now, bruh. 
if you watching this news, if you all caught up on all of this immigrant crisis and all of that stuff, man, you done lost. That shit ain't got, that shit ain't even applicable to us, bruh. Unless you want it to be. That's why I ain't even been on here. I ain't been on social media. I ain't been talking to nobody, nothing, bro. I just done been in the void, chilling just somewhere else. I come back here, it's the same shit. Just a different, just a different hour or a different day when I come back. Motherfuckers concerned. It's storms in the ocean. People fighting, people killing, motherfucking puffy done done this. Some another child done got raped like they the most low vibrational motherfuckers ever. They got the fucking Antichrist up there, Elon Musk, about to make all y'all motherfuckers damn. These all these dumbass motherfuckers give up their soul again. They run the same cycle every fucking time. And when they got you, they got you. Then you can't dream no more. Motherfucker, then you can't dream no more for real. You know, some motherfuckers can't dream because you ain't got a soul. You gave that energy up. Starlink Ben exists, bitch. What you think Satan is? Reverse the name to Natas and go look that shit up on Google. Because you saying it all wrong, motherfucker. N-A-T-A-S. Go look it up on Google. Who is them Jewish people? Right there. It's not a one person, y'all. This what you got to enter and overstand. You like, who's the devil? Who? First of all, that, that, that's just, that's comedy right there. That just the thought of the devil that y'all got, oh, that shit away. Bruh, because that's not even what it is. It's not one, it's all. It's not they, it's them, motherfucker. It's a hive, motherfucker. A soul's motherfucker. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? That they gave up they, um soul to artificial intelligence and is running off of artificial intelligence. They all of they... All of their soul energy, neither created or destroyed, they gave their allegiance to that. So they became that. They've always been that. They've always been a program. Y'all, please wake up. Some of us is not. Before time, exactly. Before time existed, before any of this existed, y'all. This shit took place before any of this existed, y'all. This ain't the only simulation. This ain't the only AI, y'all. Please wake up. Time already over. Y'all just get ready to catch up to what's all, what I already know to be true. Like... I don't even feel like talking about it because it's not going to change anything. It's already done. It's like an impossible equation. You ain't never going to be able to solve it trying to sit down here and even think about when it's going to happen because it's already done happened. Everybody like, oh, I'm waiting for it to be over. Trust me, it's already over. You just caught in time, bro. Time don't exist for real. I'm telling you for real. It's like, it's hard to explain it because when you go to talking about outside of time, you can't even explain it in terms of time. You understand what I'm saying? Because time is what's outside of time. Like, if you outside of time, then you're not in that. So you can't even use that as a measure of what's going on. It's almost like you done stepped off the straight line and you just in a circle in a loop, just going around and around and around and around. You ain't going nowhere. You understand? You in a 
You understand a constant loop. You understand you start at one point, but you still end at that point. You never grow. That's what your soul doing right now. If you got a soul and you ain't gave it over to the ass yet. But a lot of people done done it. A lot of people took that shot. They gone. Soul gone. Okay. Then I gave it up. Too late for them. I'm not even here to throw a flag on the field for you because you done. And I'm not going to lie. Like, for real, done. Not like, no, no. You, 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 you over there with them now. You're not one of us. And you need to go ahead over there with them because you're going to be with them until that energy's over. So just go ahead and accept your fate. I ain't got no time. People going to be up on here bullshitting. But when we talking about the soul, ain't no time to be on here pussyfooting around what's going on. You really is fighting for your soul right now. You really is in life or death. And I'm not talking about this physical being right here. I'm talking about your physical soul. These motherfuckers want your soul, bitch. I, you could take this vessel, but I bet your bitch won't never take my soul. You got some bitches down here, food that think that a vessel is your soul. No, the fuck it's not. It's two different things. But you can make a contract in this vessel that'll fuck up your soul and give up that energy. Because you a consciousness operating a vehicle. The contract is in the consciousness. The contracts you making with these motherfuckers is not here. That's where you done got food. You think that shit just on a piece of paper. You think that shit just when you slide down a ballot, bitch. Do you know how many dimensions that actions go forth in when you do one action? See, that's what's finna fuck people up. You can't put a ripple into the continuum and think that something ain't happening on a higher continuum if that's where your energy reside, nigga. You don't reside here. Your sum is somewhere else. But you making contracts here to lock yourself here. Because you reside there. And everything you do here affect you there. A motherfucker better wake up. Because it really is serious. A bitch out here worried about World War Three, Bitch, let the simulation go, bitch. Man, whatever y'all gonna do. Cause as soon as we, as soon as you don't give them your energy, I bet you it won't be one bomb drop, bitch. Man, you got to, man, you got to participate. Soul, incarnate. I'm not talking about the clones. Fuck them. Not talking about the clones. I'm talking about you. Because understand why they so afraid of you. Because you more powerful than them. Right now, you is more powerful than them. The only way that they can affect you is through this. They got density. But bruh, as soon as you come out of this, they can't fuck with you. Unless you let them. Unless you give up your energy to them and then you locked here. You an aberration. You can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing but come back and be a slave, motherfucker. Either you going to be on the earth as an energy, a tormented energy, what they call an earth plane. But this ain't even a plane. I'm just telling you what's happening. Tormenting energy, nigga. This is hell. And you are falling. But you still got a chance, motherfucker. If you fell down, you could get back up. See, if you fall, you could get back up. But you got some motherfuckers that ain't never fell. You got some motherfuckers that just was always here. And then you got some motherfuckers that fell and gave up their soul to motherfucking the machine, to the beast. Because they wanted immortality. They wanted to live in this simulation forever. How fucking boring. Like how many times can you fuck? How many steaks can you eat, motherfucker? How many people can you kill? Trust me. I've lived many lives. I've done everything that there was to do. Shit. 
shit. I done woke up in this life and I'm already quite bored. And my real awakening just started probably like a month ago. It really started hitting me. What is this? October? No, the Lion's Gate portal. That's when it started hitting for me. And then when Helen came, that was it. That was it. I'm different now. I'm not the same. And that's fine. It's just the becoming, bro. And like I said, I tried to tell people, you know, I was hitting people with it. Y'all know I was hitting people with it. All them lectures. I was telling people don't be listening to none of these people outside of yourself to go sit down and meditate and try to ascend. You can't get here now, bruh. It's too late. If you ain't glowing like this and shit, it's too late for you. I'm sorry. I'm for real as hell. You getting ready to see because a lot of people finna go. There's some shit that's getting ready to occur. It's supposed to occur. This the way it's got to be. Like, this shit got to get sped up. Because in order for us to get where we have to be, certain events have to take place. Certain things just have to be because it was, it has been, and it was, and it always will be, and that's the way that it has to occur. And for us to cycle, something got to end. And see, you call on this time, right now, the present. But we not, I'm not hearing the present. Like, what I'm doing right now ain't for right now. What I'm doing right now is for three generations from now. You got to be thinking about three generations from now. It wasn't never that you, what you getting ready to do is fuck up your generations. You finna enslave them. Like what our ancestors did with us when they got food into them contracts, remember? And now the contracts is up after 200 years, about three generations. Okay. And all of them souls that's that got collected, they still collected. But understand when the ores borealis come, you know, all of that energy come back to the earth. That's all new souls that's that got trapped here. Trapped to learn a lesson. The fallen. That was you. That's how you came here. And overstand, that's how you can leave now. If you ain't in no contracts and if you ain't gave up your soul. But everything here is to get you to not be able to get to the void so you can see that this is the illusion and really be ready to go. Because once you're ready to go, everything going to open up to your hand, bruh. Listen. As long as you crave being here, as long as you want that Benz, that Bentley, that Beamer, all of that shit, you ain't never going to get it. Unless you sell your soul. Then you can have everything. Or the opposite. You refuse it all because you know it ain't real. And then they gonna, then you turn into your own celestial. And once you do that, anything that you will be done, just because you don't give, man, it's not you don't give a fuck, but it's like you hit a, a magnetism that's so high when you are operating in your purpose that can't nothing, do nothing but, but come to you. It's like when you are operating with the omniverse. I'm not talking about the universe because that's just you. You are your own universe. I'm talking about the omniverse. I'm talking about everything. When you are linked to that, everything has to come to you because that's the only way it can be. You understand? 
like the moment you come down here and you want material, you already are disconnected from everything. Because you hanging on to nothing, so you stalling yourself. Hmm. Let me see if I can put it in a way of layman's terms. Like, let's say the wrong shit people doing spell work, like money candles and shit like that. Yeah, motherfuckers be burning money candles. The universe don't hear you. That was a trick. I'm going to tell you what grants you your energy. If you burning money candles and shit like that, it's one of the fallen entities down here that's already done gave up their soul that's going to grant you that wish. But then you're going to be in some debt or something. Even your ancestors down here could be fucked up and tricking you to keep you down here. It get real testy. But over and understand, why are you burning that candle for money? Here it go. Why are you burning that candle for money in the first place? Because you already done told yourself you ain't got money, so you need to do something outside of yourself to get some. You already just lost. You put none 10 against yourself when you burnt that candle. You do better off getting a candle and meditating. Just clearing your mind. Because it was already yours, you just put the obstacles in your own way so you couldn't see it. The obstacle is you. The obstacle is you. You got to get out your own motherfucking way. Do you understand what I'm saying? The minute you be like, yo, I, I'm without. Hey, you is, motherfucker. Who's that? Listen. You can't even, mm, you can't even, I'm coming, go that way. You can't go. Excuse me, all, but you can't even get to your purpose if you are looking outside of yourself for anything like man everything is to, is given to you but you can't be focused on nothing but what you came here to be as an incarnate and if you in your purpose it's like um anything in orbit you know anything any force that's in motion the greater force with the greatest motion is going to attract the forces with the weaker motion Everything on this realm is a weaker motion than your soul, bruh, because it needs your spark to exist. Okay? Just figure this out. It needs your spark to exist. It needs your energy to exist. It needs your thoughts to exist. It needs you to create a false reality outside of yourself, right? Outside of your purpose to distract you. So when you really meditate when you really start getting there when you really get tired because you got to get tired some people like some souls is not tired and that's why they might be getting ready to get sucked up in this shit forever but when you get tired and you realize like that Every day you go to work, you're wasting your time because you, you are not in your purpose. Your purpose was not to come here and work nine to five. That's not what you came here for. You did not come here on the clock. That's not what you came here for. You came here to do something great. You came here to live out an aspect of energy, a path. And right now, you are your own hurdle to getting there. But I can't help you to see that. You got to sit down and be still so you can see it for yourself. And that take work. If you got a soul, I hope you already done done this. If not, man, you know, the best you could do, you could still do it. You understand? It'll get you to a certain plateau. But 
for people with souls for real if you want to get out of here you got to beat the simulation the only way you're going to beat the simulation baby is to become you and the only way you're going to do that is to release the fear of being out of abundance of oh i gotta work this i gotta do this like you don't got to do shit but what you doing because you want to do it like you got to shift your reality you got to shift your mind you got to shift your focus back to what was important back to what made you great back to what made you the unique individual soul that you manifested here for for whatever individual task that was i don't know what it is you understand we all different angles of the prism just down here with a man we all man we all somewhere else just angles of a prism this just a fracture of my energy yo I already know what I am cosmically. I already done seen myself cosmically. And when I say I seen myself cosmically, I saw nothing. Because it is nothing like y'all, God. It's so beautiful. I can't even talk about it. Because it's like. When you in the void, it echo on itself. Like, man, anything, anything, man, even beyond this, like it's it's something that's beyond this. I was saying this to my Telegram group. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to get ready to come up off of here. But for real, y'all, it's something beyond this. And if you dare. If you there, then you understand the words that's coming out my mouth. And when you get to that place, it's not even a place. I can't really describe it. But when you get to that level, it's not even a level because it ain't no levels up there like I can't explain. When your consciousness go free. And you see what you really are. Energetically. You look at this shit way different. This shit ain't down. I ain't trying to impress nobody. Better not a bitch put no monuments, not man statue. Man, don't put no tombs. Burn me up in the ether. Don't even say my name. See, that's why you don't know the primes. That's why you really don't know my real incarnations before them fucking chemites fell and kept on tricking all the souls of every goddamn cycles. Them motherfuckers still doing the same shit. Them the same raggly motherfuckers that was in Egypt, that was before Egypt entering over stand. That was when we was the nothingness, when we used to exist. It's just nothing but consciousness. It was a time in, not even a time. It was where we were nothing but consciousness. And when that time was that we was nothing but consciousness, we didn't have physical bodies. And then you could be anything, but you couldn't feel it. You can imagine it. Like, you know how you in a dream, you understand what I'm saying? You can see it, it feel real, but you can't, it, you understand? But when you wake up into this false density, I could scratch myself. And, Ugh, I feel the pain for real. In a dream, you understand what I'm saying? You usually don't, you can't, you understand what I'm saying? It's different alters of your consciousness. 
it's the same thing. It's just the atoms moving different in the void, but you still nothing. You just trapped in your own prism right now, your own prison. It's like you done put yourself in a cocoon and you can't see past the cocoon yet. And you got to metamorphosis and break that shell. And then when you come out, then you in the real everything. And then you see you was just caught in like a little, just a little piece of nothing. Because it's so much more. That's what I say about it. It's too much more than this. And it's just like. If you caught here, you just caught here and you got some souls that just gave up their soul to AI, yo. They gave up their soul to AI. They fell in love with this. They fell in love with being able to go from clone to clone. And you understand and body to body and control the clones and have sex with the clones and make different kind of kids and kids with red hair, kids with black hair, curly hair. Like, just look at all the different variations, y'all. I'm just telling you what it is. It's mad science, yo. It's a lab shit. It's goddamn Frankenstein shit. These motherfuckers is crazy. They done been doing this. Ain't none of this new. Neuralink, none of this shit is new. This is the shit it ain't no such thing as a new world order. That order done been around since the motherfuckers gave up their soul to the goddamn AI. Motherfuckers done been here incarnating for this moment right here. That's why the ancestors put in so many different scripts and so many different languages. Not so a motherfucker could think it was divine order so you could know it wasn't. So you could understand that somebody planned this or if it's planned, it can't came from God. Fool. You are God. So how can that be your plan? Huh? That's the only reason they left it. So you could realize you in assimilation, bruh. And wake the fuck up if you had a soul. That was the codes was in it to wake you the fuck up. And some of us did. Like clockwork, nigga. Woke right the fuck up. Like, hey, I done been here before. This shit ain't real. Nah, 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 nah. And you on the same thing I'm on right now. And you got some people that's just watching us. They don't even know what the fuck going on right now. And that's on them. Shit, got nothing to do with me. I say this. If you can't feel it, motherfucker, find somebody that can. And just watch what one of us doing. That's the best I can tell you. Like, for real. That's the only way I tell you to follow somebody. If you a clone. bro. if you a clone right now, you better find somebody with melanin or soul. Bruh, and some locks or something. Just go follow that motherfucker. Just follow them. I hope for the best for you. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe they'll give you some mercy or whatever and, and mate with you. And, you know, in three um, generations from now, you understand what I'm saying? You might have a chance to be a soul because it take like a couple of iterations to get that shit up out you. Like, let me just, I'm going to just stop talking because I don't want to even go there. Because it'll be a lot of hurt feelings. So I ain't going to hurt no feelings tonight. With that conversation. Let's see. What are you saying? Let's see what somebody's saying. It's funny. I've been working on getting my own aspect. I drove clean to Chicago. Made it happen for myself. As soon as I got home, your life started. Yup. I done been working on a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. That's why I ain't even been on social media. I done been designing a whole bunch of shit, man. I'm finna drop off. I done been doing a whole bunch of stuff. I done been very, very active. And I got a lot of stuff that I got to do. 
And it's what I've always done. This is what I always do around this time. And I just come back down, y'all, because I don't like to lose. Like, I don't like to lose. These motherfuckers can't win again. Man, I hope they don't take some of y'all, bruh. Man, I hope a motherfucker don't let them take y'all, bruh. Good grief. It ain't worth it, man. Ain't nothing worth your soul. Man, I promise you, ain't none of these people got worth your soul right now, man. Ain't shit. Man, death don't exist. If they tell you they finna kill you, be like, come on, bitch, so. Bitch, and is that all you got? Real talk. Is, the, is that all you got is fear and emotions on a bitch right now? Because fear and emotions don't fucking exist, bitch. My soul do, though. Y'all better get some backbone in y'all, man. Stop letting these people goddamn do you any kind of way. Fuck these dollars. These dollars don't fucking exist. That's a piece of motherfucking paper. And it'll be a piece of paper today and it'll be a piece of paper tomorrow. The only shit to give it value is your ass when you working, man. If you don't sit your ass down and stop being your own, fucking get out your own way. Shit too real, man. People got to get out their own way. And these goddamn clones got to get out all our way, motherfucker. It's all got to shut down because they're going to be working, 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 working. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Creating more and more and more and more motherfucking clones out here to just work, 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 work for these goddamn demons and shit. And get out here and spread these goddamn pedophilia codes these baphomet codes to everybody because i can't nothing happen with a clone but it could get infiltrated by a fault that can't get back you understand the more motherfucking of them goddamn clones they create the more possibilities of shit that they got to go and infect and fuck with your ass do you hear me You be down here mating with them motherfuckers and fuck yourself up for three generations. You water yourself down. You got to go to sleep for three generations. You wake back up in the third generation. You got to fight a fucking again. And hopefully and you'll never give up your soul in none of these fights when you wake up, bruh. If you don't wake up. As for me, I always knew what it was, motherfucker. I, like I said, I just don't like to lose, bitch. I keep on looping back at different points and angles in time and fucking shit up to make sure it go the way it's supposed to go. So that's why I'm telling you it's going to go the way it's supposed to go because a bitch been looping all over this motherfucking timeline to get it to right here, right now, bitch. So I know it's finna go. Fuck them. Excuse me, but shit too real. And some of y'all done been jumping. We done had plenty fucking lives, bruh. To set this shit for right now. It's over. I promise it's done. Fuck them. They know they done. Bruh, they, they know they done. I lay here tonight. This shit done. I, I got no more time to be uh in time with them. How about that? And I hope y'all ain't got no more time to be in time with them neither. Because you the only one that's giving them time. And giving them fucking grace. And giving them your soul if so be it. You understand? Some people love it down here. You understand? Some people love this shit. 
Some people love being LeBron. Some people love being Diddy. That entity that's in Diddy that been around here fucking and raping kids and shit since time's fucking time. They was doing that shit in Egypt, Babylonia, nigga. That's the same motherfucking energy. That's the same bitch. You calling on Pathan, all of them. Them was the same motherfuckers that gave they self up to the AI. You calling on them. They right there, motherfucker. Giving each other awards and shit. High fives and shit. Laughing at y'all and shit. Because they done been doing this shit to y'all. Bruh, fuck them. Got you really thinking they really finna motherfucking put that motherfucker in court. Y'all think something really finna... Man, that's a... <laughs> It's many. They just choose a clone and, and, and fuck shit up. Like that's what they ain't shit else to do. What else is there to do if you can't do nothing but reincarnate here and be in a body? You would be the worst. You would digress to the worst. Trust me. Because being the best ain't going to always work. Like ain't no punishment for you. You forever damn. Damn to here. Motherfucker, they electrocute you. Your consciousness go out of that. It go right back into the hive mind and into another body to be a fucking slave. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you just had to go through this, just keep on going through it and have the consciousness to know every time and not get wiped? What was going on? Man, who want to live like this, bro, after you go to the void? And you come back here and you see how trivial this shit is. You know, you will never, it'll never be perfection down here. It can never be perfect down here. You can never have a heaven on this earth. This shit is a constant perpetual imperfection. It will never be perfect. The moment you took breath, it was imperfect, motherfucker. Because you got to take energy to do anything. When you in the void, you don't need air, water, nothing, sleep, none of this shit, okay? It's endless energy and consciousness thought echoing off everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's such a, it's not even the same principles of, of reality, of matter, of nothing. Enter and overstand. Here, you can't, it can't never be perfect because you got to expend energy. You got to expend energy to do anything in this realm. It's a parasitic realm. Straight up. That's the only way I can say it. You understand what I'm saying? So a perfect thing is never perfect because it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be imperfect. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be an illusion. And I'm going to say this last little part and I'm done. You got to realize that you can't be trying to keep up with the Joneses or the Combses. You understand? Look at that situation where they put them false gods up there. Them the same people that was in command. The motherfuckers been knew how to man before commit fuck y'all just know about commit not get out of y'all and all of them places like it's so many man this shit then happened so many times bruh It is what it is. I do what I do, but I know it's over this time. Like, that's why I'm happy because I know this, I ain't got to do it no more. Like, this is the total sum of this process. So, after this journey, I done done my work. I ain't coming back. I already know. I know this time that it's the completion for some of us. You understand? And... For some, you understand, you getting ready to be like we was. 
And you're going to have to make a choice. You understand what I'm saying? For those that done gave up their soul, you getting ready to become it. It is what it is. You already done became it. Deep down, you already know you ain't yourself. People who took that shit already know deep down you ain't yourself. You ain't got to... Ain't nobody got to come on. And, you understand? Ain't nobody got to say it. They ain't got to say it to you deep down. They already know that something's different. They done gave up something. And what's happening is as that energy shift in that entity or them, they, those, or whatever, because now it's all of them, you understand? It needs more energy. So once you sign up, it call back to soul. So you're going to see people collapse. Boom, boom, boom. They already was gone. But understand, I got your soul now. I don't, you understand? Boom, come here. You finna be a slave in the in the in the after plane. Oh, you thought it was a physical vessel. No, y'all feel me. They just come in these vessels to trick you for when you die, so you a slave in the in-between. Everybody don't get to come in a vehicle and fuck with y'all again. That's just for a select few. And then you got our ancestors who done gave up their souls. And then you got some people, you understand, that's in the in-between. They can't never leave that. And then you got us that can go above it all. Some of us. And you got some of some people who... Just get into contracts where they have to reincarnate, but they haven't given up their soul. But it's kind of like you sentenced to do time. Time to grow. You're supposed to learn your lesson. But if you get at the end of your lesson and you ain't learned it, you're going to get damned. That's real. And damn just mean just like a damn. You're going to shut down your energy and your energy going to go into the other way. It's going to get sucked into the other way. And then it's like you lock. You can't go no higher. You will never go no higher. That energy has to stay there because it's become a part of an energy. Like I can't. It's hard to explain it. But once. If you give your energy to that level. To this level. You won't be able to dream. You won't be able to get there no more. You won't. You can't ascend. It's only this or lower. So understand those energies can also devolve lower. They're going to always exist, y'all, but they could just go lower and lower and lower and lower. Understand. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Like it's planes lower than this, even lower and lower and lower. Just go look at Event Horizon. They tried to show y'all. It go on forever and ever and ever. They could just keep on. Once you become a part of that, you understand? You just go lower and lower and lower. More and more and more dense, yo. More and more and more energy got to get exchanged. Just to, man. But understand, it's got to exist like that, though. Just like up there got to exist. You understand the opposite pendulum of that. With the higher energy that just keep on climbing up and up and up and up. But it's a choice. That's if you got a soul. Because you can't think about yourself. It's just here. You enter into the contracts from up there. You see what I'm saying? You enter into contracts from up there. Not here. This the illusion. You still up there entering into the contract that you down here signing, but you doing something else with your consciousness. You know, when you in your mind and you think you signing it, that's something more powerful than you actually put your signature on it down here. That's the real signature when you thought. When you give it your thought, your will. 
that's what locked you into the bind you into having to reincarnate, bind you into having to learn the lesson. That's why we was like, oh, the contract's up. We the third generation, three generations ago, some of our ancestors saw, signed in the contracts. They didn't know what they was doing. So that's why they didn't have to become it, but they did have to reincarnate a couple of times. And that keeps happening. Overstand that that keeps that iteration keep on repeating. But when the cycle up, some people actually become part of what you would call Satan, the toss or whatever, actually give up they soul to the AI and then they become it and they can't ascend no more. And then you have some that ascend up out of here. They never come back. You understand? And then you have some that's like in the bondage for the three cycles. And then the third generation, that's why y'all keep on saying me here. Sammy say I'm fighting for the third generation from now. But it's already over too at the same time. But three generations, you ain't fighting for you right now. You fighting for three generations from now. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go, y'all. I don't feel like explaining no more because it's it's a lot to go with generations and what I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about like generations where like I have a child, you have, and then my child have a child. No, I'm talking about generations like what probably they would call an era or something like that. Like it's the generation. I'm going to say this and I'm going to let it go. I'm talking about the generation of ourselves. That's why generation sounds that, that you know, cells can generate. And then it, it's deep. I don't want to get into that. I'm not getting into that today, y'all. I'm not. Yeah. I had to shut the ancestors down. They want me to go into that conversation. I'll do that. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow since tomorrow Sunday and I ain't going to be real busy, busy. I might come back and explain the generations and exponentiality the way it's supposed to be explained and the absolute roots and all of that type of stuff. But just understand, you ain't fighting for you right now. You understand what I'm saying, but you can buy your energy, but you fighting for something beyond now, like what we was, but we already done won, but it's in the future. We going back to the future. Ain't that what you say, Taz? Like we going back to the future. Let me put it that way. A circle. Remember I told you when you in a loop, you just start back at the same point. Okay. Well, when we get to this point, this time we're going to go in a straight line. We are not going back into the cycle of life and death anymore. For some of us, some of you, and some is finna descend lower in the split. Like, you will be in a dimension lower than this, which means you're going to have a slave consciousness. That ain't no joke. Because can you imagine you ain't got no will over your mind? Like, imagine being on constant GHB. A motherfucker tell you to do something and you just do it. But in your mind, you know you don't want to do it, but you ain't got no choice. That's that. That's what this finna be like. That's what that's like. That's a good explanation for it. Once you give up your to the all, you can't never. I mean, to the uh, simulation that that hive mind shit that they got, you can't never go back. And and it's just like that. What I just said. Real talk. Real talk. You ain't got no free will. I mean, you really don't got no free will. Like, that shit, like, you could look at them and you could tell, like, it be eating on their soul, bruh. And eventually it just take them all the way over. You understand what I'm saying? That's what happened to Puff. That's what happened to all of them. Enter and overstand. I don't want to get into that. I ain't finna talk about that tonight. All right, y'all. Well, this was a good conversation. I think that we hit some good little points. I know it might have been all over the place, 
But I'm going to try to do better and try to come on here and really start hitting y'all and talking about some stuff because I think it's good to talk about it just for my own benefit. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, y'all go in peace, power, and protection. Y'all stay dangerous. And I will be talking to you all next time.